Hello everybody, it's Justin Town here. I'm just doing a video about the cars that I've owned. I've been thinking about this on the way home from SNPJ, Pennsylvania. This has been a, my car that I own now. It's a 2011 Chevy Malibu. It's been a great car to do that and take me to work every day in Akron. I haven't been going to work now because I'm working from home, which is nice, but still during the time that I was... Uh, that I was going to work in Akron, which was a year. I was. It took me to work and back without leaving me stranded. So I really like this car, but I've owned five cars. And I've been driving for 13 years. I just wanted to go over the the greatest car that I've ever owned is a 1997 Chevy Silverado. But I just wanted to go over the cars that I've owned in order of which I've owned. So the first car that I got when I was 16. It was actually donated to me by my aunt and uncle, which very graciously they donated a car. They were looking for another car, and they owned a older car that they wanted to give to me. Um, so it was a 1991 Chevy Lumina. It was a good year car. It was the year that I was born. Uh, so it's a great year for a car when you're 16 to drive a 16-year-old car. And it was a it was a nice baby blue color, and uh, I got a lot of dates in that car. And I'm just kidding, but uh, it was a it was a nice car. I'm going to show a picture of all these cars as I'm going over them. Uh, that car was the only car that I've ever gotten rid of because of uh, because I just wanted a new another car or a truck. Actually, I wanted a truck. That's why I got rid of that car. It was running fine. But I decided to get rid of it because I wanted a truck. So I got my 1997 uh, Chevy Silverado. I owned the I owned the car for about one year, maybe a little less. I don't know. But then I got the Chevy Silverado. It was a great truck. It was uh, I owned that one for six years. Uh, I hauled a lot of wood with it. I hauled trailers with it filled with firewood because that's what I did for about eight years and I did it with a few other trucks too. But um, that specific truck I owned for six years. Uh, at the end of that, the transmission was going bad on it. It wouldn't go in reverse. So I didn't want to have to pull in everywhere that I went forward, which I was doing. And sometimes you just have to go in reverse. Uh, but it was four wheel drive it was a great truck it didn't do good on gas out of all the cars that i've owned it did the least good on gas it did like 12 miles on the highway per gallon it was an eight cylinder four wheel drive um, but you know obviously in the snow it did well and then mud which is always fun going in mud when you're when you're a young 17 year old and um i went to you know truck nights and that sort of thing in that truck it was it was a lot of fun but um, then after I got that truck, after I got rid of that truck, uh, somebody bought it for like 800 bucks. It, not to mention it had 200,000 miles when I bought it and then it had like 280,000 when I sold it. And it was still running, but it wasn't running good. And like, you, like I said, I didn't want to have to pull in a parking lot and be able to drive out forward because you sometimes you get trapped in a spot and it's just not convenient not to have reverse um, so I decided to get a smaller truck but I still wanted a truck because I was still doing firewood at that point uh, I got a 2006 Chevy Colorado that was a great truck too uh, the problem was with that it had a throttle body that would sense the power reduced was on it it would force the power reduced to come on and the car would not go above 30 miles per hour when that happened and it happened twice the first time it happened uh it would go you know 30 miles per hour i was hauling wood and i decided to get it fixed but it cost 700 dollars and you know it was probably a three thousand dollar truck uh, maybe a little more i think that was back in 2015 when i got that so it was nine years old and it's a truck trucks are always a little more expensive than cars uh, even smaller ones typically I, I should say always but typically they are more expensive than cars and uh, that particular truck you know it that happened twice and then ultimately 
I hit a deer with that truck and I wish I had that on video as well as my next car when that one was ended. Uh, the hood went up. Fortunately, the car was still driving and I made it to work, but um, it was that basically totaled it. I didn't want to have to take it in and get it fixed uh, because it would be more than the truck was worth. I sold that one for $600. I've none of my cars I've ever had full coverage on, and that's another savings when you don't buy buy a new car. With after that one, I sold. I, after I sold that one, I got a, a '97 Ford Ranger. It was a great truck. Uh, the problem was I ignored this rattling under the uh, under the body of the truck, and it was the the uh, drive shaft. And this is one I really wish I'd had on video. It was smoking out the back when this was the last day I had. It. I was doing a tour of Negley, and then I was going to work in Canton, and um, it was smoking out the back, and uh, it was really making a worse rattling noise. I'm like, man, I don't know what to do because I was on 172, which is about 20 miles from home, and uh, it was really smoking bad, and it was also uh, just rattling really bad, and I didn't know what it was. And uh, I'm just like, well, I think I might be able to make it to work. It's been rattling like this for a few months. And then the drive shaft just came off. And uh, I pulled over on the side of the road. It didn't go real well when the drive shaft's, you know, going into the road, sort of. So I, fortunately, I was on a rural road and could just pull over. But um, and that one, my dad came in. Uh, picked it up on a trailer and he took it back to home and uh, basically I just sold it on the trailer and somebody picked it up and um, bought it for a few hundred, six hundred maybe the same as a Colorado because it was pretty much totaled. But they were really excited about buying it and he's like, I'm going to fix this up. It's really nice. It was a really nice looking truck and uh, yeah, I'd probably still be driving that had that not happened. But then the last car uh, is this car that I'm in right now. It's a 2011 Chevy Malibu. I, I haven't had a car since the uh, Lumina, but I was happy to get rid of the firewood business and start driving a car because at that point I was working in Uniontown and uh, and I've been working in Akron too. So it's... It, it's been a good car. It's been done good on gas. I've had this one for three years now uh, Been really happy with it, but um, you know, it has its issues too. up I've uploaded a few videos about the motor, but fortunately I've had it for three three years now And you know, you just when you're younger you kind of live and learn uh, how to maintain and um, You know be stewards of your cars uh, so that's another reason I don't think, you know, you should get new cars when you're younger. Um, I think you should get a new car eventually, but I think you should have a net worth of a, over a million dollars or make over a hundred thousand a year. Uh, I think you can probably afford a new car ha if you have those two in line. But other than that, I, I think you should probably generally buy used cars because those are more affordable. You don't have to have full coverage. I suppose you don't on new cars either, but it's just you should probably on new cars because they're if you if you wreck them and it's your fault you know it's expensive but if you wreck a used car you know they're kind of like throwaway cars you can just get a new one but um yeah that's how it is that's how many cars i've had the my favorite is the silverado it was a the the truck the 97 the second car that i've owned and uh really good car they've all been good they've all had their issues though uh but i'm i'm just wanting to make the video because i was thinking about it coming home from snpj so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching have a nice day